The first language I learned was C, and I'm happy that was my first language, because compared to Python, C is much simpler. The language keeps the complexity to a minimum. It really doesn't hide anything, and this could be both a good and bad thing. Now, let's compare C to Python. Python is a language that's very opinionated with how you should structure your code. Some argue that Python syntax is a lot simpler to read, but the fact that this is valid code kind of invalidates that claim for me. At best, I would say Python has awesome libraries that can combine complex operations through a simple interface. But originally, I said that I'm happy that I learned C as my first language. And we should get into the mind of a person who just started learning how to code. You can teach anyone to do something like make a network request, compute some data, or create a plot. All of these things being possible in C, but much harder because of the nature of the libraries. Now, these operations are just tasks that need to get done. They don't really teach people how a computer does these things. And for some people, that's perfectly fine. If I'm working a nine to five job at some office and I need to render out a plot of various data points, I would rather have Python. So why would I use C in the first place? As I said before, I have to consider new programmers. A lot of stuff doesn't make sense for beginners. And I feel like languages like Python make the process a little harder than it should be. For example, adding semicolons in C may feel annoying when the compiler throws an error, but I would rather have semicolons over white space significant code. One of the major problems in Python is that copying code snippets is a nightmare. If you copy some code snippet from one site and put it into your program, you are almost guaranteed to break your code because of either indent mismatches or tab and space mismatches. Now, this does indeed force programmers to consider how they write code, but this is just another layer of confusion for beginners who are struggling to write their first if statement. I don't know about the rest of you, but reading Python code is difficult. Consider this code snippet compared to the C code snippet beside it. What are we supposed to pass to the function f in Python? Can you tell it just by looking at it? Because of Python's relaxed type system, it's much harder to figure out what a snippet of code does unless it's heavily documented. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not here to advocate using C to program applications. If you need to write anything that runs on an operating system, you're better off using C++ or C Sharp or Java. That is, if you're working on a team. Otherwise, if you're writing simple scripts, you might as well use Python because it has libraries to write almost anything quickly. And that brings me to my next point, computer graphics. I don't know if this is still true today, but most beginner programmers are interested in computer graphics. I mean, I was when I was a kid. Now, you can do computer graphics in Python. It's very limited, and you have to keep a close eye on how much processing you do with the various entities on the screen. Comparing Python to C is just no contest. C will just run faster for primitive operations like adding two floating point numbers together. It's just not a contest. If you want to do low-level computer graphics, you should really start with C or C++ and maybe Rust. So overall, C is my go-to language for beginners because it's both one of the simplest languages, yet it's very complex.